What's up everyone and thanks for tuning into Electric Bike Journal. Today we are here in Salt Lake City to do a behind the brands with Magnum Electric Bikes. We are at their flagship store, which is right downtown. Let's head on in and talk to some of the people behind the brand. So we got into the flagship store in Salt Lake City for Magnum Bikes and here is Andy. We go very far back to uh, Sea Otter Classic a couple of months ago. That's right, that's yeah. right. So Andy, how long have you been working with Magnum Bikes? Um, I've been here with Magnum for about a year, a uh, year and a half actually. It's coming up on that um, and I've loved it so far. It's really great. So as someone who hasn't heard of Magnum Bikes or is new to electric bikes, like what do you kind of tell them when they come into the store? I honestly tell them that the great thing about Magnum is that there's a lot of variety. We kind of have a bike for everyone. There's, you know, a commuter style, there's the cruiser styles, you know, there's the mountain styles, which are really popular here in Utah. Um, so being able to kind of choose and find the bike that fits your riding style and your preference really is nice with that kind of traditional riding you know, feel something that, you know, it's not totally foreign to them. It's not almost a motorcycle or anything, you know, you know, that looks strange or anything. It's something very, you know, approachable. So. Yeah. So what's the typical Magnum bikes experience when a customer comes in here? You know, usually we come in and we like to get to know people, you know, get to know where they're going to be riding and what they're going to be using their bike for. Cause we like to encourage people to use their bikes for, you know, maybe a replacement for a car potentially, you know? So we find out if they need any bags or baskets. We find out, you know, if they've got pets or kids and we find out their whole experience and we try to tailor the whole bike, you know, riding comfortability and, and what uh, we offer here at the store, you know, is like that kind of full, you know, white glove service almost as far as getting you a bike that's really, really meant for, you know, getting you around town. So here at the flagship store in Salt Lake, we actually do service as well as the builds. So you can see back here, our tech's hard at work, back uh, working on the bikes, fixing, you know, the bikes that has been out there on the road for many years and uh, also building those brand new ones for those customers coming in and putting the accessories on and getting them all decked out like we were talking before, really getting that, you know, full service so they can just walk in and walk out with the bike that they want. So we're here in Park City, Utah with Jeremy, who is the manager of the a different store in Scottsdale, yeah. but he's taken over for us in Park City. Beautiful Park City. So yeah. How long have you been with Magnum Bikes? So I've been with Magnum a little over a year now, joined in March of 2022. Oh, awesome. And yeah. how, how has it been? Dude, it's been incredible. It's a very rewarding job. Uh, get to see smiling faces every day. Get to work with some amazing bikes. Also in the stores, you do rentals or in demos? Yeah, so we, we do everything. Anything from, uh, yeah, demos. Our, our main thing in Scottsdale is sales. Um, but here in beautiful Park City, it's mainly rentals. So it's a little mix up of between all of our stores. Um, but yeah, service, rentals, uh, sales, questions, uh, products, helmets, yeah, anything really in a, in a bike shop. If you walk in one of these shops, you just see there's one of each of the models, which is just great. Yeah. And even the accessories, everything you need, if you just want to go to a store and buy a bike, which yeah. is pretty fantastic. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I think we're going to hop on some of these demo bikes and yeah. cruise around Park City. Let's do it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we're here with Hank with Magnum Bikes. And what's awesome about Magnum and having their storefronts is if you want to demo a bike, you can just leave it straight from their shop and I'm hopped on one of their smaller, smaller bikes, the Pathfinder, and Hank's on the Nomad, and we're gonna go do a little cruise around Park City. How long have you been with Magnum? I've been with Magnum a little over a year now. Oh, awesome. Whoop. Yeah, it's been awesome. I've worked in the electric vehicle space for about eight years. Uh-huh. Um, and my last stint was electric motorbikes. And when I found Magnum, I said, that's what I want to do next. Yeah. I want to work in a company that has a large offering, fits a lot of needs, bikes for everybody, not super niche. Um, and that's what I love. I mean, you're on our little ripper, the Pathfinder. I'm on a Nomad. Tyler filming in front of us is the new Vertex. So it's, it's been really cool to, you know, help uh, kind of service a wide range of customers and a lot of different people's needs. What's like some of the biggest feedback you get from customers? Uh, I think the biggest and what's, you know, kind of how we've prided the brand is, you know, we're although still like a, a smaller company is, you know, it's a very authentic company. You know, we haven't grown outgrown ourselves in the e-bike space. We still pride ourselves on all the little touches we offer 
our customers, that service and support, that sort of extra mile yeah. uh, that we can offer um, as, you know, as Magnum bikes. Totally, and I think from even the customers that just ca casually walked into, the, walked into the shop while we were there, you can see that they're happy and they get all the service that they need right oh, away. Yeah, I mean, that's just giving, you know, showing that special attention for the customers and, you know, knowing that, you know, we're, we're here for you. Exactly. That's, that's our ultimate goal. What's also nice about this Park City location is they've got trails like super close to the store and Magnum just came out with the Vertex, which is their first mid-drive bike with front suspension, more like a hardtail mountain bike thing. And we're gonna go take it out on some trails. Hank, what are you on? I'm on a Scout, so somewhat similar in frame, but a hub motor. We got some big fat tires. I think we're gonna have a fun afternoon. Yeah, beautiful day, sun's out. Let's go see how these work. Earlier you mentioned that Magnum just wants people to have fun. Is that kind of like their motto or Magnum's motto? Yeah, I, I would say so. Um, you know, from a, from a standpoint, and we just want people to get back out on bikes, getting people out, having a good time. You know, as we say, internally experiencing that Magnum smile. Yeah. You know, feel the power of an electric bike. You know, it, it goes a long way. Yeah, you know, totally. Both in miles, but, you know, as well in entertainment. Yeah, and like, I think that with adding a mid-drive bike like this, like, just adds a whole nother level that people can experience. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, this is super fun. I'm pretty blown away. Yeah. We're only 30 minutes from your headquarters into this beautiful mountain range. I don't know, not a bad way to spend a Tuesday <laughs> afternoon. No, not at all. All right, we're here. Sweet, thanks, buddy. Hey, hey, how's it going? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for coming in today. For sure. Welcome to Magnum's headquarters. This doesn't look like your typical office. Well, it's not. It actually has a pretty cool backstory. It used to be a Boys and Girls Club of America. Um, going back to 2019, Magnum decided to move into a bigger office to support our growing staff. It's actually a really neat, cool historic space in downtown Salt Lake. Let me show you around a little bit. Sure. Yeah, let's head around. Cool. Tell us a little bit about you and what you do with Magnum Bikes. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm Jesse Lappin, one of the founders of Magnum Bikes. So going back 18 years, an old friend of mine, Yoni Kamen, uh, and I, we know each other from New York City. I used to live there and we worked for the same nonprofit organization out in New York. You know, stayed friends. Moving on, he moved to Israel, started a family. I moved back to Salt Lake City. And in 2014, we reconnected and ended up kind of setting the stage for what Magnum Bikes is today. Yoni at the time was, was, was a little bit ahead of the curve as far as US standards. He, he was already importing and uh, working on some new designs. You know, in 2014, we said you know, he was thinking of bringing the brand over to the US and the two of us started to kind of lay the infrastructure for the US company. How did you guys pick Salt Lake City as your headquarters? At the time in 2014, when Yoni and I were talking, we were, we were thinking about you know, establishing a headquarters in, in California, it makes sense. A lot of our competitors were there. But I said, Yoni, hey, come out to Salt Lake. We are actually in the midst of, of establishing an inland port out here. And beyond that, Salt Lake is just a pretty cool space you know, that I think would really support e-bikes. The minute he touched down, I remember that his first time here and he was just overwhelmed and, and overtaken by the mountains and, and the beauty. It's all e-bike here. We're talking about people who are hot over technology and people who are hot over you know, the outdoor sporting industry. That's an e-bike, right? So we, we, we decided to make Salt Lake our home and kind of never looked back after that. We're really happy we did. We've been able to integrate and, and network with the governor's office, the mayor's office, do local promotions. We're really involved in the community. Um, we're so happy that Salt Lake is, is kind of home for us. There are obviously a lot of e-bike companies out there and there's a lot of competition. How does Magnum Bikes set themselves apart from everyone else? Well, first off, there's a couple of things that make Magnum unique. The infrastructure is what we've built here in Salt Lake City, and it speaks volumes when you look at, you know, Magnum owns its own warehouse. Magnum has these amazing retail brick and mortars, which operate as a support system to the, to, to the operation. And, and, and here we are talking today um, at our HQ, at our, at our headquarters. So having a company um, that, it, that, that puts the importance behind not just the product, but the experience, the customer experience, you know, 
uh, no less, I think is what makes Magnum certainly unique. We've always prided ourselves, I think we've been able to, to be around for so long by having one of the best value propositions out there. Magnum bikes are not only affordable, but they are mechanically sound. We're always pushing the envelope to have sleeker, newer, better technologies and, and, and better bikes, um, again, that, that are affordable to the consumer. So I think for these reasons, Magnum Bikes is truly unique. And I think at the end of the day, um, it's, it's, it's the Magnum staff and it's the Magnum way and the Magnum brand that is, is, is truly, you know, worth celebrating. What do you have in the future for Magnum Bikes? We really believe that we're gonna see e-bikes in every garage in America. And, and to be a part of that is something special. To understand that we're not just selling a commodity, but we're actually you know, educating the public about why you should own an electric bike, what is an electric bike, for what reasons could an electric bike uh, be used. It's exciting. It, it, again, this just comes back to you know, feeling like we're pioneers here. The future is what we make of it. I think we'll, we'll go out there will continue to be a brand that consumers can rely on and uh, will continue to put out affordable, trusted bikes. Thank you for your time and I'm excited to walk around the office and meet yeah. some of the other Magnum staff. 100%. Well, hello there. Hello. This is Emily, correct? Yeah, and thanks for work... joining our cubicle. Thanks, and you work on the CS yeah. team here at Magnum Bikes? Yep. We How do. long have you been working here? Just about a year. Yep, awesome. since last July. Yeah, and how, did you have any e-biking background or cycling background at all? Uh, road cycler for many years. Uh, I come from a whole family of cycling and mountain bikers. Uh, but first e-bike experience, joining Magnum. Yeah, so how was that like your first experience when you got on a Magnum bike? So much fun. Honestly, I haven't looked back. I've kind of um, gone away from most of my road cycling career in lieu of just like riding e-bikes around town now. Yeah, so before when you were just a roadie. What, did you like look at e-bikes a little differently before you hopped on one? Oh yeah, I think times are changing with e-bikes kind of booming in and for a long time I think there was this kind of nose turned up, especially for cyclers and like intense mountain bikers about the threat of, of e-bikes and you know, the, the amount of work that they, they save you. But yeah, honestly, times are changing. E-bikes are here to stay, I think. And yeah, and I'm sure you've noticed lot. it just gets more people out on bikes, which is great. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, that's our main job in customer support is just connecting to people, giving them more access, uh, getting them more butts on bikes and more butts on farther. bikes. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for getting more butts on bikes. And we're going to go talk <laughs> to some of, your, some of your more coworkers. Thanks. <laughs> so we're in here at Magnum's studio where they do a lot of photo and video with Dusty. Good to meet you. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So how long have you been with Magnum Bikes? Uh, almost three years now. So what is your full position here then? I'm like product support and dealer support. So I talk to okay, a lot cool. of our dealers, uh, help them with trainings, and then I work on bikes and then help kind of figure out what parts we want and what features we want on bikes in the future. Yeah, so speaking of parts and all of that, how do you go about getting that good price point with the good spec? What do you? Mm. What is Magnum Bikes looking for? Well, it helps to be big enough that you can get Tektro and Shimano and these companies to give you like a good price on parts. So. Mm. Smaller companies have a hard time, I think, getting a, a good price point for good spec. So it helps to be big enough. And then knowing where to place emphasis. Um, I think one place we've always placed emphasis is design aesthetic and comfort, and then features we think people want, right? So you'll see a lot of our bikes have an integrated rack and integrated lights. You don't have to pay extra for those things unless it's like a bike we think that's a feature, like a mountain bike. You may not want a rear rack. And there's been less of an emphasis in other areas maybe, like weight is a place where we're not usually too worried about weight unless it's crazy. If we get a bike that's 80 pounds, then we would be like, oh, we need to lighten this up somehow. But it's an e-bike. All of our bikes have a lot of power too, so a little weight's okay. We want it mostly to ride good and feel safe. What kind of um, safety certifications do you guys go for and in support in that kind of area for your customers? Our batteries have always been name brand cells, usually Samsung, Panasonic for a good couple of years. Uh, this last year, it was a lot of LG cells. Um, and then we always pass the CE certification, but the, the new standard is the UL certification, yeah. right? And there's two of those. There's the battery certification, and then there's the entire electric system on the bike. It's two different certifications. Mm -hmm. So all these new models, like this Pilot, uh, have a UL certified battery, and they're working on the full bike cert, which takes a little longer. So yeah. we see that riding on the wall, everything going forward on our bikes is gonna be UL certified. This is an awesome HQ in the old Boys and Girls Club. What's, yeah. your, what's your favorite thing to do here? And My favorite part about our HQ though is just the people. The crew that we have here at our offices is just awesome. Everybody's willing to pitch in. Um, sometimes we need help like 
product testing. We'll get some new bikes in. We want to put as many miles on them as we can yeah. uh, as possible. And, and so we'll throw that over to our like support team, our customer support team, and be like, hey guys, you need to take an hour long lunch ride today, please. We need to put miles on these bikes. Uh, it really helps us and helps kind of break up the monotony of an office. And that gives everyone an experience so they know about the bike too. Oh, right? certainly. Great yeah. to have hands-on experience, right? Deal with the display yourself and kind of see how the headlight works and get the ride yeah. feel of a bike. And then it really helps you um, know what to sell and, 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 and how to talk about it to a customer. We are here with Catherine, who has been with Magnum Bikes for quite a bit now. Yeah, I've been here for four years. I'm one of the longest employees and it's been a good time. So in your eyes, what sets Magnum Bikes apart from a lot of the other brands out there? I think that we stand behind our product in a way that um, more affordable e-bike brands don't always do. We've put customer support uh, first and foremost, ever since I've joined the company, I've just known it to be that way. Our customer support team, they go above and beyond and we wanna know that whether you bought you know, an e-bike way back in the good old days when it was, you know, we were making MI5s or UI5s, which was one of our earliest model. We can still support you if that's what you're still riding today, which would be amazing, put those miles on. Um, or if you're buying something new, knowing that you're gonna be supported well into the future until you, you make your next purchase. Totally, and that just goes a long way when you wanna have those repeat customers or word of mouth, as mm -hmm. I'm sure. Exactly. You like to market that way too. Yes. <laughs> awesome, well, thank you for your time. Yeah, and thanks. We've had a good time here so far. Awesome. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed seeing behind the brands here with Magnum Bikes. I have seen this basketball hoop here the whole time, and I just have to take a shot at it before we leave. Oh! Better than the first one. <laughs> And I didn't break anything, so we're good. See you in the next one.